uh, Bitcoin hovered around $50,000 after scaling the closely watched level for the first time in over two years. A remarkable comeback from the crypto scandals and wipeouts that it cast doubt on the industry's viability. Uh, that the largest digital asset was trading at $49,960 as of 10.52 a.m. Tuesday in Singapore, having earlier risen as high as $50,379. The token has tripled in value to the start of last year, following a 64% plunge in 2022. Bitcoin remains roughly $19,000 below the all-time high achieved in November 2021. Uh, the wild price fluctuations uh, seen since the introduction of Bitcoin more than a decade ago have long been uh, one of the main attractions to speculators. Uh, while originally promoted uh, as an alternative to uh, the uh, traditional financial system, uh, the latest rally has been driven by optimism that last month's U.S. approval of spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds is leading to greater mainstream acceptance. Um, so that uh, there is a lot of talk about inflow of money into this asset, uh, said Matt Maley, uh, chief market strategist at Nord Tobacco and Co. And also note that the P software from the second point has been and, and was the best that they were working for gamers and chais uh, to write their starters and coach. Uh, and just last and happen, coaches get their back to Miller. And the resurgence in crypto prices comes as expectations of looser monetary policy burnish the allure of riskier assets. The appetite for risk has tripled over into digital assets as well, said Chris Newhouse, a DeFi analyst at Cumberland Labs. Shares of crypto-related companies also gained Monday with Bitcoin proxy MicroStrategy Incorporated. Uh, second rising 11%, Minor Marathon Digital Holding Incorporated, Jumping 14.2%, uh, uh, the positive sentiment spread to Asian stocks related to digital assets, including advances in companies such as Japan's Monex Group uh, and Worry Technology Investment Company uh, in South Korea. Uh, uh, Bitcoin has recovered all its losses since the May 2022 implosion of stablecoin Terra USD, which set in motion a wave of failures that ultimately helped bring down Sam Bankman Fried's failed to insure. Uh, by the time FTX went down, uh, the crypto market was already uh, months into a route uh, that also claimed hedge fund, three O's capital and, and lender Celsius network. Uh, but the fall of FTX once one of the top crypto exchanges by trading volume uh, was even more damaging with token prices stagnating as liquidity dried up. Um, but now with Bank and Freed convicted of fraud and the Binance Exchange's co-founder Chang Peng Zhao awaiting sentencing for U.S. sanctions violations and failing to implement anti-money laundering policies. Crypto crises have moved higher as analysts see fewer looming risks to the industry. Nine U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds debuted on January 11th, while the more than decade-old Grayscale Bitcoin Trust converted into an ETF the same day. The accessibility of ETFs promises to widen the investor base for the token. The MU funds have attracted about $9 billion so far, while a more than $6 billion outflow from the Grayscale funds since its conversion seems to be losing steam. Uh, we are a little ways away from there being broader acceptance. Susan Thompson, head of Speeder America's distribution at State Street Global Advisors, said on Bloomberg Television, um, most advisors that we talk with are taking a wait-and-see approach. If, uh, if financial advisors need to examine an asset's correlations over time to assess potential diversification benefits, whereas Bitcoin's impact is hard to predict as the token is uh, relatively short-lived, uh, Thompson is lies. Uh, optimism about the quadrennial Bitcoin having due in April is also filtering across crypto. Uh, having cuts the quantity of Bitcoin that miners receive for operating the powerful computers, verify transactions on the blockchain, the event is often viewed as support for prices based on historical precedent. Aside from ETF inflows, sentiment toward Bitcoin is quote-unquote typically positive. During the Lunar New Year holidays that are currently underway in Asia, Fundstrack Global Advisors wrote in a note, 